So, good news, boys and girls. This is um, history me or future me. Which one would it be? It would be your history, but my future. Because I'm talking as I'm going and it's a future. Whereas it's history as I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But anyway, the good news is this motherboard here, the ROG Strix X470F Gaming, a motherboard, is faulty. Damn. So how are you going to be doing the competition? Because we got a new one today. So it came yesterday on, uh, what day was it yesterday? Saturday the 21st of December. And now it is the 22nd because I want to make sure I can give you your price and I want to make sure everything's working. As we know from what I was saying earlier in the video is that this one, uh, two slots are gone, which was bank three, bank four. So, and I tested it on another motherboard and all the banks work. So technically, hopefully this is a brand new motherboard. It should work. And we've got Harry Bows as well. So that's cool. So what I'm going to do is grab all of this stuff out, swap this out onto the desk and put the new motherboard with all this stuff on, leave the cables where they are because it's all cable management nice and then bang, slam it back in, not that really hardcore but just enough to make sure that it's in place, screw it together, check the banks, make sure it's working and if it is, hey presto, competition can be going as soon as possible before Christmas Eve. So yes, let's, uh, I'm pretty happy. And this is from the guys at Be Quiet that made this happen. So they did not muck about. They were like, okay, we need to get the motherboard over to get this competition done. So let's go ahead and do it. And they did. And it's so quick because obviously it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. And then it's Christmas Day the next day. Wow. So, okay. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get this out and then do this. So this can be in the time lapse. Because I don't want you waiting any more longer in this video as it is already. Be Quiet Screwdriver. Oh yeah, I need to turn it around, don't I? Let's take this bad out. So the moment of truth now, to make sure this motherboard works. Uh, so let's turn it on. I think I've got it on. Actually, I need to put the power button, turn that on first. What's going on? There we go. So if we get a screen, that means it's working because it's populated in the proper slots with both RAM sticks in there. Blow that sounds really quiet. And nothing's happening. Right. Come on. Please work. Yay! It freaking works. So the competition is on. But, um, yeah. I'm really happy about that. That is awesome. It is running sufficient. Let's see. 34 degrees off the of boot mode. Obviously, you need to leave it for about an hour, two hours, whatever, to warm up a little bit. But that is awesome. So now, the next part is to download some software and do some uh, Cinebench and overclocking to see if everything's working correctly, which it seems to be, so I'm really happy with that. Um, so, 
let's get the drivers on first so we can run Zinni Bench. Um, I won't bore you with going through all the software. I'll do the software afterwards. So, meaning that I'll put all the software on there now, and then you can just watch it straight away. Right, let's go ahead. So this is the old faulty motherboard, and it's going back to be RMA'd. Uh, see what the problem was about that. That slowed down this time, messed up the competition a little bit, but at least this video will be out, hopefully today, because now I've got to edit the whole thing, because all my staff's on holiday. I'm meant to be on holiday, but because this happened, I wanted to make sure that one of you lucky winners got a chance of winning this computer. And uh, yeah, 2600X, there's 16 gigabytes of RAM, overclockable, it's gonna be a beast, but be quiet. Right, so let's go. Um, let's put, let's do the drivers first. Anyway, see you in a sec. Right, so stage one, uh, sitting bench is on there for synthetic benchmarks. And also, when you first get the computer with the operating systems all spread out all over the place, and uh, you're like, oh wow, what's going on here? So first off, you need to go down and download your drivers. So I've just downloaded the drivers for this, which is RX 570 and it's by Radeon and it's an Asus overclocked version. So I had to go into Asus, download it and then install it. So now it's asking me to restart the computer. So I'm gonna restart the computer. I've also got Google Chrome on there. I'm not gonna put loads of stuff on there because technically it's for you and your benefits, whoever the lucky winner is gonna be of this lovely, powerful gaming stroke video editing supercomputer that's what i'm going to call it because it's made by me and um the nice thing about it is that it is a total beast of a computer it really is there's no ssd in it no mechanical hard drives nvme so you've got like the fastest drive that you can really get other than the 970 evo one terabyte which is faster but that is pretty good for a winner like this is like 13 1400 pounds worth for free for you Actually, for you, for me, from me, from Be Quiet, from me, to you. <laughs> anyway, so right now, it's just an absolute beast. Anyway, on this monitor, what monitor am I using? I don't even know what monitor I'm using. Hopefully, I'm using a 240 hertz monitor. Uh, did it, did it, where am I going? Actually, I do need that, so I need to go down. Launch display, 1920, display apps. Uh, monitor, it's at 59. Oh, there we go, 240 hertz. So this graphics card, this is how powerful computer is. It's powerful enough to obviously run 240 hertz, like no tomorrow. So we're at 240 hertz now. And I'm using um, a BenQ Zemi monitor right there. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We need to do a synthetic, synthetic benchmark. So let's check nothing's running in the background quickly. Make sure processes are good. Right, we're good. We've got so 1%, 2% in CPU, 10% in memory. All right, so we'll just clock that off and now we'll run Cinebench right now. Du -du 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 -du. Cinebench, go! Let's see what the score we're going to get. Hopefully, it's going to be beating Marcus's score. It'll be great. Come on, come on, let's see. What, hurry up, man, it's taking ages. Run! It's not taking ages, it's pretty quick. Not too bad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm impatient, I want to know what the score's gonna be. This is about overclocking. So, come on, come on, come on, come on. What have we got? We're nearly done, and we've got a score of 1,348. Okay, 1,348, you remember that, guys. Remember 1,348, that's what you need to remember. Right, so now I'm gonna overclock it and go into the BIOS. We've got to update drivers of the graphics card already, so that's already done, and we've got to beat 1,348. Right, we're clocked at 4.1 gigahertz at 37 degrees. So let's go into... Uh, Dash computer, um, where are we? We need to go straight into boot mode. Let's go straight into it. Um, and let's run a benchmark and hopefully we'll see something good happening. So we've got a CPU um, score of 1,370, so slight bump. Now let's try and overclock to four point, I think it's at 4.1 already actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's already at 4.1. Let's try 4.2, never know. 
to be honest with you, I need to be checking my hardware. I'm going to download AMD, um, AMD Ryzen thing so I can check to make sure everything's all right. So 1.38 volts, uh, we're at 4.1 gigahertz. Temperature, speed and power at the moment is 26.5 degrees. No way. Right, let's uh, run this benchmark again and see what it goes up to. 51 degrees, 52, 54, 55, 57, 58. 58.5 degrees at the moment at 4.1 gigahertz. So at least we know it's working. That's pretty decent. And at 4.1 gigahertz, all cores, a six core CPU. As I said, we were gonna overclock it and see what we got. So it's at 1,384 on that run. And at least we know the temperature and the temperature goes down pretty quick. So now we're gonna try and overclock to 4.2. Uh, is this going to give me an error? No, it saved it. Wow, you saved it. Beautiful. Restart. All right, now we're going to go, for, go and overclock to 4.2 uh, and see if we can keep it at that same temperature at the moment. Let's go AI, tweaker, go down to here, put 42 in, and we'll leave the temperatures at the moment. I haven't even done the memory to overclock yet. Um, Go to save and change reset. So please, please see if we can see a 4.2 overclock. And it actually works with Cinebench as well. Okay, we've loaded into, <laughs> into Windows so far. So hopefully it will be okay. So we're at 4.2 gigahertz and we've got a temperature at 38, 37. So between that's fluctuating. Now let's run Cinebench and uh, see what happens. Hopefully everything will be all good and it will run it. So we've got a score of 1398 CB at an overclock at 4.2 gigahertz and it only reached 58 degrees. Wow. So it's beaten my score there, which was 1384 and it's beaten the score before. Wow, I'm really happy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run the test. We're gonna try and go for 4.3 gigahertz. I don't think we're gonna be able to, but um, I'm quite happy with that, definitely. So save that. That is what your base mark should be. Uh, so we're at 32, 31. Like it's going backwards and forwards, but we're overclocked. Oh, it should be overclocked, so 4.3. There we go, 4.3 on all cores. When I hopefully this doesn't crash, fingers crossed. And it's crashed. Damn! It crashed. Look, no mouse moving. But anyway, we've got a score of 1398 so far. And I didn't even move the memory. I didn't even overclock the graphics card on the memory. So you got a lot of fun to do with this, guys. And um, I would show you gaming on there, but why would I show you gaming when you're gonna be doing it all yourself? So now I've just got to down clock this back to where it is. At least you know your could go to 4.2 gigahertz and maybe 4.3, but the temperature is ridiculously low on here. Ridiculously low. But if I was going to do like a proper overclock through Prime 95 with intense uh, synthetic benchmarks, I would make sure that everything is done perfectly. But you're going to be able to do that, guys, hopefully. Or you might not be an overclocker, but doesn't matter. Just get in contact with me and I'll help you out. All right, let's put this down to... Uh, let's put it down to... Let's do it to automatic, so you can do this all yourself. Right, uh, auto. And that also means that you've got to do your memory auto. I want you to be able to play with it. So DOCP is the example of, or not an example, the opposite version of XMP, which might be an MSI version. They all got their different freaking clock names, but anyway, it's back to normal. So now when you get it, you can mess around this Mess around with it yourself. I'm really happy whoever's gonna win this. It's gonna be wicked. 
Alright, so it's back to normal. I just want to just I want you to hear how quiet this machine is. Two 140 mil fans here. And then we've got two 120 mil fans on the CPU. And then we've got 140 exhaust. Then we've got two fans underneath the graphics. And then we've got a, a fan inside the Stroud and the power supply. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fans. Just listen to how quiet that really is. And this is without even the glass on. This is with all the components out. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do is make all the cables nice because now I know it's fixed and one of you lucky winners are gonna be winning it in Europe. So let's talk about that right now. So if you want to be in chance of winning this computer or even two computers, what you need to do is subscribe to both channels, so PC Centrix and Max Stout's channel, and also like both videos. Also, leave in the comments down below why you think that you should be chosen to win this computer. And also, if you like this channel, as I said, subscribe and subscribe on PC Centrix channel. Also go and check out his video as well on us building both computers together. And thanks to BoxFX for filming us. It was great and it was a nice pleasure. Enjoyed eating pizza and stuff like that. And thanks to Be Quiet for having the opportunity to obviously give away this massive like giveaway for someone lucky out there, one of you winners out there. And uh, yeah, nice one PC centric. Um, I'm not too sure who won the overclocking, but we'll check when we go back to editing. You've probably done your video already. Not too sure when he's gonna announce his video, but keep checking back both channels and yeah. All have nice holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Goddamn Year, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Thanks for watching, Roger and out.